What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ooch and my brother Ooch, and we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today, ladies and gentlemen? Children of all ages, Dragon Balls, or fans <laughs> of Dragon Ball, what's going on? It, it is your favorite brothers of Ooch here back in once again, and. Uh, for those that missed out, uh, Kai is out for the foreseeable future on uh, medical leave. He'll be back around December for those that haven't uh, been keeping up. But uh, if you have, well, you should know that I'm not alone. I'm riding this one out in an old school kind of way. You're probably feeling like we're doing some Dragon Ball Super reactions, but fear not. They still haven't brought back the anime, so I'm sorry to report that, but... I am here nonetheless with my man, brother Uj. What's going on, sir? How you doing today? What's good? What's good? I'm chilling, as always. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Per huge. All right, so that's that's how we want it to be. Staying chilling, good vibes, of course, and whatnot. But uh, I guess, oh, so one thing I wanted to bring up before we get into our main topic, right, is something that I always do with Kai that I actually forgot to do with you last week was to go over some of the comments from the previous episode that we recorded. So um, I figured we could take a little bit of time to check out what some of the people were saying from the last couple episodes from like last week's and then the week before since I missed out on that one to make up for it. And then we could get into our main uh, topic of discussion here, so. We could check the comments. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I could send you, I could send you the. It's it's pretty much. I well, I what I do is I pull up the actual YouTube links, and uh, I just go to each episode. I could send it to you, um, if you want to check them out for yourself as well. Let me get. Let me let's do let's do last week's, and then we'll do the week before, um, really quick. Let me just uh, let me pull up this right here. So, <clears throat> all right, so. Yeah, so last week, so here you go. So you could um, reference the comment section for yourself. I'm gonna open this on here, and we only had we only had one solid, solid comment from a, <clears throat> a frequent flyer, I should say. And uh, they, this person usually always has some good stuff to to add or to contribute to the full power pocket. So definitely big shout out, and you know who you are. All right. So this person, this person says, well, I'm going to be real. If Goku had mastered Ultra Instinct and straight up took Whis on, it would be kind of whack. But I don't think the levels of Ultra Instinct will be a Super Saiyan kind of thing. Remember back in Moral Arc, as Miris died for the moment, at least, he said his Ultra Instinct is now way more powerful than before. But that didn't make Goku go Ultra Instinct 2 or shit. It was the same Ultra Instinct, but it was more efficient, more finer. Um, I think that I think what Whis meant is Goku needs more experience so that he can use Ultra Instinct as effectively as he and his dad does. Even if Ultra Instinct undergoes a design change to show that I guess it won't be like a choice to choose UI1 and UI2. Instead, it could be that his form evolves into something with the previous UI gone. That's the first part of his comment. So, yeah, I pretty much that. Yeah, I, if, it, if it came off like I was saying, like ultra instinct is about to be on some super saiyan stuff then i apologize because i guess i wasn't 100 percent clear but that what i was what i was saying was around what this com this first part of the comment is saying is is like i definitely agree that ultra instinct is basically just like any with any other form you know like with experience that will get naturally stronger and more efficient exactly how, how they said it because if you think back to even like Super Saiyan, for example, they use Super Saiyan, base form Super Saiyan a lot. Why? Because it was something that was at once, once it was attained, it was used um, like a lot. It was used often. Like these forms are essentially like muscles. Mm. So the more you use them, the easier and I guess more powerful they, they, they become over time. So like you could be a base Super Saiyan and still be stronger than someone that like just popped out Super Saiyan 3, for example. And that's also the reason why you don't really see a lot of Super Saiyan 3 outside of, you know, for a short cameo appearance. Because, let's face it, 
they've been training in like super saiyan god super saiyan blue way often that it's almost pointless to go super saiyan 3 outside of just teaching other people that don't even know how to do it yet you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah sad <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is sad because I, I know that's one of my favorite forms to this day yeah um so yeah so they go on to say as for the story progression they definitely need to remove goku and vegeta out of the picture so that the threats are actually a threat a sensible way is to just put the rule of the angels and gods on them uh quote unquote they cannot actively interfere not because they are angels but they are using powers which are not supposed to which are not supposed to use in mortal affairs okay the reason why Mirus is allowed to actively serve is because those powers are gone um, not only will it make sense, it forces Vegeta and Goku to take the role Whis and Beerus took for them. And it's not like they don't have the fighters to reach uh, close to their status. They have plenty of them. And so before I continue reading this, I just, I do, I do want to answer some of that, right? So I kind of agree with this, but here's the thing. <clears throat> I feel like the only way they would ever put that rule on goku and vegeta is if and only if they actually were recognized by the by weiss's father right the 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 what are they the, the, the grand priest right if 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 he acknowledged them as being strong enough in comparison to an angel and god of destruction to the point where this man came down before them and said so we now want to recognize you guys as being on the levels of angels and gods of destruction to the point where there's literally no being on this universe that could defeat you so therefore in order to balance things out we now need to have this rule on you guys right that's like the only way i could see something like that realistically happening to kind of quote unquote take them out of the picture <laughs> because then at that point if that actually happens at that point it is established that okay they are officially acknowledged by a higher being that yes they are truly gods okay they're it's like yes they were born saiyans but now they are gods essentially that's the only way because when you think about it Whis and Beerus, they could handle any and all of the problems that come before them. But because they have these rules, they're not, they don't, right? Well, they do, but, you know, that's just Dragon Ball breaking their own <laughs> rules whenever the things are freaking established. But that's, that's another problem in and of itself. And I'm definitely directly referencing, you know, how Frieza came back, won, and Whis freaking reverse time. And I'm just like, uh, okay, cool. We'll just go with that. <laughs> um but yeah that that's that's like the only way i see something like that happening but i mean we're, we're gonna talk a lot more about that um today on this episode and then they go on to say um it's not like they don't have fighters to reach close to their status they have plenty of them and finally when and if dragon ball ends haha <laughs> down the line the divine angels and gods are somehow gone and threat and the threat which caused that could force Goku Vegeta to break their rule and put an end to all this god levels of shit and also to their respective lives. Them not only will the new generation feel important, even villains of their level could uh, easily exist. What do you think about all that? Mm. Uh, let me see. I'm kind of rereading it, but mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of information for sure. I mean, I can't really like... Kind of how we discussed it in the last previous podcast. I mean, it could go kind of the way we're saying it. But remember, we can't overthink the shit. <laughs> we, we, like, like, we can't can't do that because like anything can honestly happen. They Dragon Ball can break their own fucking rules or whatever. But I mean, his his uh hypothesis I'll say is actually pretty legit. I would say. Like, I could see it happening as well, like, kind of the way how he has it lined up, essentially, but uh, I I just think the most logical way, honestly, is kind of how you put it, though. Like, basically, if they were actually recognized as, like, that strong, which is, which actually would be kind of fucking ridiculous. 
Yeah. Like, that would be, like, some fucking top-level shit right there. So, like, that would be crazy. Uh. Yeah, like, you know, it's funny you say that. It, uh... It kind of remember the part in the tournament of power when when goku come back he came back and he like unlocked ultra instinct and all the gods and angels like stood up yeah. in like in in total respect like that part that shit was so godlike yeah because they like, recognized that shit bro like exactly like they probably didn't so, realize that at all because they already knew what jiren was about honestly like like he was already like basically mm -hmm. signing up to be a god of destruction in a sense like <laughs> like like they didn't think probably that goku was gonna achieve that form and and pull it out as many times as he did to even uh like stand up to jiren and stuff like that Facts. Um, yeah but yeah i mean because technic technically like as of right now like goku and I'll, i guess i'll put vegeta in there too just because of the man manga purposes and stuff but like they have reached like well yeah they have reached the ultra instinct form like and uh, like goku's obviously still working on her or whatever and i guess vegeta is too at this point but like they can maintain it now even though um like a lot of uh energy will be used from pulling that form off i guess right like it, yeah. it's like it's pretty much acted as like that i'm pretty sure ultra instinct is pretty much like the new super saiyan 3 i'll put it like as far as consuming a lot of energy because um like when, when when goku pulled that like super saiyan 3 like all the time like man would would use it or be able to use it for like a period of time and then when a man got got like drained and shit he couldn't pull it out no more unless he got a fucking sense of being <laughs> like yeah it's like i don't know because well with ultra instinct i, I get what you're trying to say but like realistically how it, how it was is when you think back i could probably count on one hand how many times goku actually used super saiyan 3 yeah, okay yeah. and every time he did use it it was in it was in a spurt and it wasn't for very long that's what i'm saying the difference yeah like i feel like with ultra instinct now especially with like ever since it made his debut in tournament of power the one time we actually didn't see it was during the Broly movie. Surprising. I mean, he shit it out for like two seconds, right? Oh, my it God. It was visibly... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It was probably the best fucking moment <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> Yo, he, bro, he literally freaking farted that John out for two visible whole seconds on screen. But that was it, which was weird. I don't know why. I feel like they did that on purpose because it was like, okay, well... If this man goes ultra instinct, well, they want to kind of defeat well, the purpose think, of I like they wanted the to, fusion. They wanted to debut the the fusion, eh? Exactly. No, exactly. That's, that's exactly what I'm Cause saying. Because like so. we don't know, and and that's a matchup yet to be seen. Honestly, like how would Broly perform against an ultra instinct Goku type of thing? Like it. I like, cause listen. I don't know, bro. Cause like, bro, like we all we all we all know we all know Broly is a. Uh, like his power level and shit ascends like every every time he fights like especially somebody mm -hmm. stronger than him so like mm -hmm. i mean the, this is this is my logic right against broly like you can yeah. physically take this man out but you can't play around for too long because Facts. because he has unlimited power so and he gets stronger every time he fights like through, for a duration or whatever so like essentially if we're gonna be hypothetical about it like an ultra instinct goku against broly would probably destroy him but like technically broly should be able to ascend his power level and get used to ultra instinct enough to where he can counteract it and like essentially be stronger than ultra instinct goku that's kind of my how i kind of feel about that perspective even though that's kind of sidetracked i think <laughs> that's like a whole nother conversation well Nah, I think no, no, no. This is this is a good one. This is exactly why I, this is why I, had, I need to have you as a regular now on this fucking shit because these are the conversations that people need to hear. Okay, because <laughs> here's the reality. Okay, I don't care how much I seem like a Broly fanboy. You could call it whatever you want, <laughs> but I have been like Broly has been always been my favorite character since I seen the first movie. Listen. I don't even know if you remember when you was a kid, like when we were both kids at this point, obviously.
but I won't ever forget the time dad took us to Blockbuster. Do you remember what a fucking Blockbuster is? Yeah, I remember that shit. Okay. He took us to Blockbuster, okay? And I was look he 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 wanted to watch some some new shit, right? Cuz of course we was at Yamor's house and literally we were just like trying to figure out what to do over the weekend outside of playing games. And we went to Blockbuster to try to find some new shit to watch. I went straight to the fucking anime <laughs> section, which at the time was hella lackluster, mind you. Thankfully nowadays it's definitely a lot uh, bigger in most places, I would say, like FYEs and like whatever, whatever the freaking video stores they might have around there, whatever. Um, but nonetheless, went right there. I was looking through, and I'll never forget. I saw the legendary Super Saiyan case mm -hmm. right before my eyes. I said, "Dad, <laughs> I we, <laughs> we have to get this movie." And thankfully, Dad, of course was an advocate for us when it came to anime because he was into that shit too so he was like he was like oh he's like all right he's like this look he's like all right this looks good i was like yes so <laughs> we went home man i literally like shit myself i was like this guy is the greatest character of all time like because even back then a lot of people still ask probably asking the same question they acting they're asking now like like they probably didn't even feel like like it didn't even make sense like how they def quote unquote defeated him you know what i'm saying yeah like that first movie was like all over the fucking place bro <laughs> not gonna cap the second movie is legit yeah. that and that is the goal that is mind you that is the gohan we need but it's but it's, he yo even in that movie gohan got wild oh yeah oh yeah, yeah 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 you're right you're right he, he did it, yeah but he had to step that up. Is not he, the no, 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 no. But he had to step up. That was the the triple the triple uh, <laughs> Kamehameha though, right there, man. Oh yeah, that movie. See, that movie was fire. That yes. like the the third one was absolute asinine. But like, nah, no one talks about that. Yeah, one. no. But like, cause the first one, the way they defeated Broly was just weird. The second one was actually hype. And legit. Yes. Yeah, like that was that was legit because like. Mm -hmm. And this is what I'm talking about. And this is why I say what I say around like the fight between like Ultra Instinct Goku and and the Broly now that is canon. Like like yes, Broly gets stronger every time he fights like for the duration of the fight or whatever the case may be. But if you if you are strong enough and are able to take him out before he ascends you, then it's possible because right. because in like the second movie for example, like Broly was washing Gohan, but then like, I mean, Free. Gohan was stronger f than him. Well, I don't even know if I want to say stronger than because he had Goku. He had the <laughs> he had Goku from fucking heaven <laughs> and Goten <laughs> and Goten by his side, fucking trying to pull it off, and it like it happened, like because he was stronger maybe for that one second and just. They got, well, they kind of low-key fucking cheated. Well, not, I don't know if I want to say cheated. Because, like, Piccolo, I think, low-key helped them out by distracting Broly. And it kind of got caught him off guard. I don't even know how I still uh -huh. remember this shit. No. But, Gohan, uh -huh. yo, but Gohan and Goku realized that shit. And then they, they used the last source of their power, I believe, and fucking took advantage. And that's how they won. Like, they, so the, I guess that you could say they might have outsmarted him, even because he got distracted from fucking Piccolo's so the, beam. Yeah. The funny, the funny thing you bring up on that, right, is I, you know, the fun, I was trying, I'm trying to remember back too, because I can't remember if it was Piccolo's distraction or if it was Trunks it, that, that distracted him. It was, Because I remember yeah. the one line that Trunks was like, she, like, eat Oh, yeah, fin sure. yeah, yeah, it was Trunks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was yeah see? and i think that's funny because look everyone wants to think back and they want to pretend like gohan when he defeated cell right they want to pretend like yo this was gohan in his prime which it was i would say you know he, this is gohan in his prime he was the strongest at this point in time and he beat cell right they, they want to write in the history book that gohan beat cell realistically what happened the similar situation. Oh yeah. Vegeta distracted Holy Cell. Holy shit. Yup. You're actually yep. right. <laughs> Vegeta distracted Cell, and I'm sure everybody forgets this. He distracted Cell, and guess what? The entire time, 
my man gohan had the father assist yes sir the entire time it wasn't all gohan guys now go it was <laughs> yes you're doing it like, come, come on, on now. come on <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, that that is yeah. That's the facts. Like, that I, you could say that the team win. Then it's not no singular dub. It was exactly, exactly. So every every Gohan stand out there that wants to just remember what they want to remember, they gotta they gotta remember it for what it was, okay? Because it's always a team effort at the end of the day. Look, they couldn't even fucking defeat Jiren one on one. They had to get Vegeta gave it his all. Then it was Goku, the MVP, 17, and Frieza. Three on one just to take, just to eliminate him off the fucking edge oh in, in the Tournament of Power for Jiren, bro. Like, these, these, I don't, like, I think, I'm trying to remember, like, a, a singular character that took, that it, it was one, it was a one on one fair fight, and and the guy, like, it, that was what, that's it. Yo, that was I'm it. low key trying to think of that too, because, bro, like, throughout Dragon Ball Z, even going into Super, like, quite literally, it everything has been a team win, honestly, because, exactly. because when you go, when you even go back to, like, Kid Boo, bro, like, the spirit yes. bomb is getting yes. help from the entire fucking universe, bro. Hercule defeated Kid Boo, guys. <laughs> just think about let's think about nah, this but like because bro like <laughs> i'm not gonna i'm not gonna even cap here because like because there could have been solo dubs aka if like certain niggas in this shit wasn't so cocky aka gohan like he could have had two <laughs> he could have had two titles under his belt as being that nigga but nah when he could he could have taken out super boo and Goku would have never had to pull out no spirit oh, bomb. And Kid Buu would have never been a character, mind you. <laughs> and um and what else? And what? And, and Cell. Like he he had him mm. by the balls. And then I forget what Loki happened. But uh But yeah, like What no, you know what? Gohan was cocky even the cell? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like actually because I'm trying to kind of remember like the whole cell thing. I'm I feel like like cause Yo, Vegeta could have had a dub because Nah, that's who it was. Not Gohan. Yeah, well, Vegeta was the cocky one. Yeah. No, nah, cuz like when I'm trying to remember, I think because I know, well yeah, Vegeta definitely fucked up. He well, he could have definitely had a dub. He could have prevented all of this. He could have killed him when he was imperfect, yes, bro. Yes, yes, that's what I'm saying. That, it, it, like he fucked up. And then I think when Gohan uh, like achieved Super Saiyan 2 or whatever, um I don't know what happened like he did because the whole thing with cell i'm pretty sure he because he came back from regeneration like off his last yeah. fucking cell or some shit i don't even remember and he came back even stronger so i mean yes like i don't, I don't know if that's completely Gohan's fault whether he could have demolished him like and, and yeah. got rid of all of his cells but yeah like th that's what i'm saying like more of the story like there could have been potential title wins for the the for being that guy like yeah and, and yeah and, i mean but yeah i mean cockiness always gets in in the middle apparently because no it's either cockiness or the lack of strength that that yeah. that makes all of these dubs team team dubs it doesn't make it singular dubs like never so honestly until uh, uh, like and this is this is kind of reverting back to the what the man said in the comments for his second paragraph about like yeah. removing goku and vegeta and all that and even kind of what we discussed like um like i feel until either vegeta or goku can singularly defeat one of these top fucking villains at, in whatever form they are whether it's ultra instinct or whatever when they can do it by themselves is when they will there will be more talks about possibly them actually being the strongest like in their universe or something like that and that they need yeah. to put a rule on them because otherwise if they need if they keep getting these wins off of like teaming up essentially like i don't think that's gonna happen <laughs> and they're going to keep utilizing Goku and Vegeta until that shit can happen.
Because that's fact. Because like when you really yeah, when you think about it, like, <laughs> like, oh shit, I'm talking a lot. <laughs> Yo, that, dude, this this is why you need to be here every uh, week. Bro. It is not. It is really good that you have all that to say and then some because this is how this is how you know this type of topic is a very serious one in the fact that like when you realize it and break it down and think of the overall layout of the story of dragon ball altogether like i'm like every single like victory and everything even all the way back to raditz was always on some team shit. Oh yeah. It was n it was never like I can't think of uh like 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 we've been talking about I can't think of a singular character that like like where it was a like, legit one on one and there was no like preemptive like there was no like like people always had a turn. You know what I'm so, saying? So like, hold on. Do you want to count Goku's W against Frieza on Planet Namek? But see, here's the thing. Even that fight, and that's what I, that's one of the first ones I thought of. Think about it. Frieza, even though they were nothing to him, they he fought Piccolo, Vegeta, Krillin, yep. Gohan. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like that was four people, and then Goku got to him. Yeah. So it's like, but you know, I mean, I uh, like when it comes to that <laughs> fight specifically. And we want it like because um yeah because this is where i kind of want to take it almost it's like because as long as there's no i'll say double teaming triple teaming or whatever the case may be then i don't really want to qualify it as a team w like as a team outcome <laughs> yeah. no no spirit bombs no no double teaming triple teaming no no fucking triple kamehameha's Kame <laughs> no triple kamehameha <laughs> super kamehameha or whatever like yeah. like shit like that like i'm talking i'm talking when i say like a singular dub from one person against another villain i'm talking i'm more so talking about i think the goku and frieza fight on planet nemic just because goku didn't receive help i believe like he didn't use no spirit but well he did at first but frieza survived that shit um from what i remember and then like once once goku like unlocked the whole super saiyan shit like from there on like he ruled the fight i feel like and then he spared him right and then yeah and then he, and then he survived in fucking space or some shit is that correct yeah, but and then think of it that way. When you break it down even more, bro, Goku didn't even defeat him. He, yeah, he just he, won. He, he didn't. He won a fight. Yeah, no, he didn't truly defeat him. Like actually kill him type shit. He just. Our boy Trunks finished the job. Oh yeah, yo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Yo, it's, so I mean, shit. I mean, Trunks. Trunks got the only only solo dub, I guess, huh? If that's the I'm, case. Dude, you wanna be technical? Yo, my man Trunks is the only dude that, I, that has solo dubs holy fuck. against mad characters. Think about it. He came back from his time to this one. He defeated not just Frieza. He defeated him and King Cold. So that's two bodies, two right? Two bodies. Then, then he went back. And then, he, then he went back, he right? The but then when he came back to hell, yeah, he took out the androids. And then he took Cell out. Yeah, by himself by himself because cell wasn't in perfect form he didn't even cell didn't even reach his second form because he stopped it because he killed the androids over there in time dude that that is five w's that right there is, within and, two oh, fucking, <laughs> that's crazy and everybody else literally everybody else has had some form of like they needed help or there was like multiple um it, like multiple individual fights within the same battle in a sense you know what i'm saying like even you even look at look at the zamasu goku black stuff yeah that was yeah, yeah. That, that was literally like a, a three on two situation that then turned into like a two or uh, three on one and then a two on one because the, the zamasu's fused and then then we got vegeto but then ultimately trunks finished it off but still yeah team w. team effort team w yeah so yeah man but that's what it is like nobody, that's nobody, how it goes nobody's strong enough to handle one of these guys by themselves yet uh -huh. yep so so yeah so that's the thing 
I feel like whenever it comes down to them truly attaining that that level of power to where they could handle any single body by themselves solo no tagging in no fusion none of that shit i feel like at that point and only at that point will they be acknowledged by the higher beings and being like okay now since you're at this level now i think you guys need to like chill out and not get involved anymore to balance everything else out because you know there's all this you know there's all these other people out there and yeah like evil will never stop but it's just like that plays into the th that plays into the whole balance thing you know what i'm saying yeah no nah, and they they need to <laughs> when it comes to these like because they i feel like they need to show that they are that dominant like no they have no sweat when fighting whoever comes through type of thing and they just take them out exactly no mercy yep. type of vibe that's what i'm saying they it, dude it, it, just how you put it they would have to handle a fight as if how weiss would handle a fight effortlessly Effortless, you know what i'm saying like yeah. even miris when you think about it oh man see that's the thing you didn't even read it so initially when that when that arc started and the whole the whole the whole point of like how the how the manga played out was that Miris was on a mission to find Majin Buu because they wanted Majin Buu in order to bring back the 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 Dai Kaioshin within him yeah right and they needed him because he was supposed to play a part in defeating Moro at the time so because Goku and Vegeta got in the way because Miris didn't want to like you know put his business out there and tell them straight up like why he needed Majin Buu they of course like was trying to throw hands but Miris he literally knocked both of them out with a singular strike to the back of the fucking neck oh like literally God. like they passed out and he threw them both on the spaceship and took them with them. <laughs> yeah. so like they like Goku and Vegeta are literally not on that level like they have they can have all the forms in the world but all it takes is for them to try to tussle with a fucking higher being and they and they get bodied yeah no like that that strength it's like that's what i'm talking like, it, like the, the power difference is is the key here because mm -hmm. once they reach that scale or that certain peak then then talks will start probably arising and stuff unless they just yeah. keep popping out with these fucking crazy ass villains that are that seem that they're on like that type of level and then like right. goku vegeta have to fucking just pull something out their ass and level up themselves to match them but i mean yeah, yeah. like that that, that kind of sums that whole fucking shit up i would say yeah so <clears throat> and, th and this is probably a good point to start bringing up our our main topic here uh because there is there the, this was a wonderful way to to segue into what I wanted to to talk to you about, which is what uh, we kind of uh, stopped from the last episode, and it's this. Head to thewaypro.com and use my code Uchi10 to save 10% off the entire website. I feel like everybody, like the powers that be, Toriyama, Toyotaro, the whole Bird Studio, Toei, everybody. I feel like they're all scared of not having goku and vegeta in the spot that they're in because i feel like goku and vegeta play such an integral part in the overall story of dragon ball that they are a literal draw they're a reason to have people new and old to continue supporting the series right like they are such familiar faces i mean not to say that gohan isn't or tr the kids aren't or anything like that but that's the point like goku and vegeta are the guys okay <laughs> and that's kind of why they even decided to give us all this shit in between dragon ball z because and people forget this shit too so much has happened within this 10 year skip to the point where they literally forgot about it and after the moro stuff or actually pretty sure it was like i i i did the math in the middle of the moro stuff 
they already kind of over over they overdid themselves on the threshold so technically right now everything that's happening is a retcon because originally how the <clears throat> excuse me how the story goes is they defeat kid Buu, right and then the 10 years go by and then there's the world the new world tournament and then everyone's grown up everyone's you know taller baby pan is older and all that kind of stuff and there's that part before the tournament where Bulma catch Bulma and Vegeta they catch up with, with Goku and them and she's like we haven't seen you in five years <laughs> right yeah so that that and see here's the thing that line is super important because I did the research and I was like okay I want to make sure that if I'm gonna fucking say what I'm about to say that is correct okay so I checked the manga. I checked the anime. I checked the Japanese original and I and I checked our version in English, okay? And every single version she says the same fucking thing. 5 years. Okay? It wasn't 4, it wasn't 3, it wasn't 2. It's not like how they changed the number uh in like from the manga to the anime because like like some people might want to reference how when the whole meme where it's over 9,000, like yeah. in the manga, it's actually over 8,000, but it's over 9,000 is what got mistranslated, I guess. I don't know how, right? But it is what it is. That's just a part of the history, <laughs> whatever. This is not a mistake. Five years is what Bulma said. So when you take that into play, everything that led up to Moro and it's either in the middle, somewhere in the middle of where Moro started going into what's happening right now. They've officially passed that five year gap shit where this is like, okay, like at this point, this is where things should start like falling into place with the end of Z. And it's not, it's, it's, they, they're doing too much at this point officially. Which is why I'm calling it a retcon because obviously the original story is that it's been five years and you know, like <laughs> that's the last time they've seen each other. But with all of these things that's currently happening, it's clearly less than that, obviously. So wait, so the was it ten years that the tournament? Like So so from so from the end so from when the moment they defeated Kibu all the way until that tournament yeah that's a ten year skip ten year skip yeah 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 so half of that is five right and that's where Bulma at the, at the end of that ten years she says it's been five years since they've seen each other so what they seen Goku since they've seen yes but as you can as you can see from everything that I'm telling you with what's going on in the manga is it's clearly been less than five years because they're still actively doing shit together Yo, that, yeah so, that, that is uh yeah but now now the big question arises there because like if goku was gone for five years where the fuck could this man have possibly gone <laughs> but yeah but that, yeah like, see but that's the thing like at the time toriyama probably was just like that's it like this is the story like i'm done right like there was no plans in the 90s. Like, think about it. Dragon Ball Z ended in the 90s, Brandon. Mm. It ended in the fucking 90s. You understand? GT also was done in the 90s. We did not get that shit. Like, I was... Dude, I was 10 years old when that shit was just about to start airing on TV. You understand that shit? Like, straight up. I was still in elementary school and GT was about to be on TV, bro. This was literally in the mid 2000s. This was like 2003, 2004. I was between the ages of 10 and 11. You were, you were fucking what? Four and five. <laughs> and, and, and at this point we like, we were just getting GT. GT was, had been done in Japan in the mid nineties already. Like Dragon Ball was over for the longest time. Like all the only things that they was putting out was like the movies, I guess. And even at that point, I'm pretty sure like there wasn't even that many either. So Toriyama probably was just like, yeah, like, I don't like, fuck it. I'll just say you know, it's been five years. They didn't anticipate all this shit. And, 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 and 
it's, it's just weird how they decided like okay we're gonna put all these arcs and we're gonna fit them all. like they went through all this shit in in 10 years i mean 10 years is a long time but the way that the pacing is going is just like god damn they went from kid boo to beerus to frieza to universe six to fucking goku black to the tournament of power to broly to moro and now to granola and the heaters and all this shit and whatever the fuck else is left and then this other movie that's about to happen that's leading into the end of z that's a lot of shit within 10 years holy shit <laughs> Yeah, yeah I mean, honestly, like, oh man, there's so many speculations, bro. Like, cause like you, you mentioned all the, all these like arcs and shit, obviously. So and but the biggest question is, are they actually going to animate it now, or like after the movie? Like, what are their plans after this movie? Cause if what you're saying about the movie is what it's towards the end of Z or whatever, like it's. Like it's supposed to match up type of thing is that uh like for the movie i think so well that's the thing like, like well see that's the thing right we'll we will truly never know because like what you said you can't think too much into it right yeah because the second you do they're just gonna change everything <laughs> and that's kind of the whole narrative of, of 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 what it's like to be a dragon ball fan because you think you know you think <laughs> you understand the shit that they're explaining but then give them some time to pass and we will we will we will be wrong all these yeah, no, years honestly like i would only have like three like shit i don't even want to put a number on it but like i would i would put like shit only have like three maximum predictions obvious honestly like three ways it could possibly go if it's that many like even numbers obvious honestly because like because I would just have your logical assumptions, like when it comes to this shit. Because like, like think how kind of like I'm kind of putting in, in in words and shit. Like with, with the possibilities of whether, because the whole point we're trying to see here is when they're actually gonna catch up to Z, like at that tournament. Yes. So and and we're that's why waiting. that's why I'm trying to like kind of dumb it down in a sense because like <laughs> the, you can't you can't continue to overthink like when it comes to this shit because you really don't know like like my my thought process when it comes to that speculation is it just depends where this movie ends like where like what, yep. what position they're in and then like and then and then what are they gonna what are they gonna animate like are they gonna give us in a like uh what should i call it like are they gonna kind of like skim through the moro and kind of say what kind of happened like in between in like the first few episodes or are they just gonna skip to wherever the movie ends and that and then we'll figure out the year gap from there type of thing and then like we'll see how much further we are from the tournament actually happening and stuff like that right. like that like that's kind of like my personal thought process behind that because like if you think anything outside of that <laughs> then like <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're just throwing shit out there to be honest because like you don't like like you can you can have like a great prediction probably but like yeah like i don't even know if it's that probable to even like um to think that outside of the box because we don't know yeah. what this movie's gonna fucking have like what it's gonna be so just to just to get back on track a little bit not to go off in too much of a tangent because there's so much i could say in response to what you just said yeah but but to, but to my original to my original uh question here like or not really question but kind of like a statement like i feel like they are scared of not featuring goku and vegeta and the reason why is because they would they're they're afraid of people losing interest and then people not giving a shit as much anymore and then it just flops and then it then and then they'll just end it in such a weird way that it would almost feel like all of this shit after all these years was all for nothing essentially like all of the fucking amazing moments the super dope arcs the freaking surprises and all this shit i feel like they would probably uh, take it under the impression like it was all for nothing uh -huh. if they didn't feature goku and vegeta 
for people to just lose interest because the, here's the here's the harsh reality okay the harsh reality is that there's a there's a huge majority of fans out there that are they're they're so numb like mentally that they would rather just watch the same shit over and <laughs> over and over again in all these different ways right they cannot understand that when you have a story and the story has characters that age and things have time skips and everybody's growing and getting mature and going through a lot of different types of shit there's gonna be a point where if the story is to continue and legacies are passed on the the fucking offspring is naturally supposed to kind of take the mantle okay which means that all of the favorites that we grew up knowing and watching and whatnot they're gonna have to take a back seat but the and here's the problem when that happens because that's what make that's what will make sense people will complain and they will they will be so quick to make too many comparisons and they will say oh like 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 oh okay here, here i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna this is gonna make a lot of sense i'm gonna use naruto for yeah example, that's exactly okay? where i was gonna take that <laughs> i'm gonna use naruto this is the perfect example right we i can tell you right now i i feel so close to naruto as a character Same. because when I started that show, I was 12 years old. Guess how old Naruto was? Same age or some shit, right? 12 fucking <laughs> years old. When yeah. the time skip happened and Shippuden started coming out. Oh my God. Guess how, yo, this motherfucker comes back from training with Jiraiya after what? Two and a half, three years? Yeah. How old was he? 15? Guess how old I was? 15. <laughs> Fifth fucking team. Yeah, nah, okay. Nah, not to, holy shit, bro. I I am telling you, I literally grew up alongside Naruto. That is why that show will. This is this might be a Dragon Ball specific, very themed podcast. But listen, listen, full power. Let me remind you guys, we could talk about anything that has full some full power shit. Okay, it don't matter. <laughs> we were talking a little bit about my hero last episode, but anyway, back, back to my point is that I grew up with Naruto, right? To the point where I felt like, like by the time the story, his story was done, I was emotionally depressed and upset, sad, but yet happy because his story was fulfilled. He started out as the fucking delinquent that everybody hated and despised and was afraid of because why he had the fox inside him because that fox fucked up Konoha like crazy. Okay. But it was his goal to what become hokage and for everybody to you know accept him and blah 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 and guess what my man naruto did just that he became the hokage he became the fucking hero and by the time his shit was done our boy became the fucking hokage all right boom the story is done his story is over okay but because of how popular that shit was, naturally, what did what is what did Viz shown in jump? What did they want to do? Oh, we got we gotta we has to keep going. We gotta keep profiting, making money, and all that shit. Bart. Right? Kishimoto, however, on the other hand, he said, I don't want to keep writing for Naruto. I want to do something new because Naruto is finished, right? But in order to have a happy medium. Because let's face it, why not make more? Why why not continue the cash flow to make sure you you and your family is taken care of forever, right? <laughs> so at least the, the 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 happy medium was like, okay, he'll at least provide some of the story, okay? He'll he'll oversee it. He'll kind of be like a Toriyama with what was going on with Dragon Ball Super. But they're gonna have like Ikimoto son, and I forget there's like another dude I think that's involved with the art. And all that shit, right? And that's what's gonna go. That's what's gonna happen, so that the 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 story, the overall Naruto universe can continue. But as soon as Boruto started, right? Motherfuckers were so quick to make all these comparisons, and just people were literally saying, 
that this shit is going to be exactly like Naruto. There's not going to be nothing different. And then this and that and the third. How wrong were they was so laughable because I was like, you guys are so dumb. I'm going to call in all every single person. If you listen to this right now and you're one of those people. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because y'all need to get fucking put on blast, okay? Because every the, 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 just the, the just the foundation of the Boruto show, okay, is completely different. Naruto was born no no siblings, no parents, no family. Like the whole the whole ninja landscape was fucking divided. All the the five great nations divided they was not in it was not fucking helping each other <laughs> they didn't have none of the ally they ain't got none of that shit okay then look what Boruto. everybody's united they can visit each other whenever the fuck they want they got people transferring villages they got trains nah, shit. <laughs> they got civilization is advanced they got all this new technology they got cheeseburgers Bruh. They're not eating ramen no more. They're fucking eating real fast food. And guess what? Borto was born into a family. He has both his parents. He has a sister. He has friends. Naruto had no fucking friends. Mm -hmm. Until when? Until way later into the story. He had they had to go through some shit first. But Boruto was born into all that. And guess what? Even though Naruto's dad was the Hokage too. He didn't know that until he was in a fight and he met his dad on some spiritual shit. Oh um, man, yeah, that shit was tough. This man, Boruto's dad, was a, literally the Hokage right there, alive and well, overseeing and looking over the whole fucking village. The whole story is different. But look, I'm not even just trying to make those like just those like bare bones comparisons just to kind of like show everybody's ass out. But look at how all of the rest of the children are. All of these kids that was born off of every, all these parents that were great ninja coming up. Now they're combining that shit. And naturally, these kids are going to be fucking broken out the womb. That's just how it goes. Yeah, no, nah, like, in, like in Boruto, like, Naruto, first of all, Naruto and Sasuke got the biggest fucking nerfs. Let me just say that. I don't even know if I if I'm spoiling anything, but or whatever. <laughs> but I'm gonna just say that they got the biggest nerfs, and now and since they got the biggest nerfs, now we already know what's kind of coming. We can kind of predict a lot better because, um, like with what's gonna happen with kind of Boruto and stuff, because like the younger people are gonna have to start stepping it up, and and their their strengths about to probably hit the fucking roof because. And that's exactly be, why those characters be, got yeah, nerfed. Yeah, because Naruto and Sasuke both got nerfed, so. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of reverting back to the Dragon Ball and shit, like with with Goku and Vegeta, I guess, in this case, like, they aren't nerfed. <laughs> and, right. and they probably will never be nerfed. So, and that is why the claims of them having to be God of Destructions and or Angels or on that type of level, the only way to nerf them at that point is to restrict them from fighting for their universe, essentially. Uh, unless yes. fucking um, is it is the name Zeno right or some shit? Like that's the uh, Zeno Sami. Zen, yeah, the... Zen, yeah, Zeno. Oh yeah. Unless Zeno says they can fight for some reason or whatever the case may be, and like, but but something did come across my mind a little bit. But this is this hmm. is out. This is this is out of the box. But like. As far as never seeing, or yeah, never seeing Goku for five years or some shit like that, is Broly on another planet? Is that correct? He's on Vampa right now, but like the movie that is coming out, they already they already showed that they had already confirmed that Broly is gonna be in that movie, and it looks like he's training with Goku. Yeah. So whether that's on Beerus planet or on Vampa, the fact of the matter is Goku is doing what he said he was about to do and training with Broly. Yeah. So like what if what if goku leaves for five years to train with broly type of thing like on vampa or some shit like that <laughs> like that like that is the that is as far as i will take it <laughs> it's either some it's either some shit like that or or zen osama wants goku f somewhere for five years type of thing and goku accepts um and vichita is the only one i guess left over in this case Okay, so you're saying 
Oh, okay, I understand. So basically, you're trying to you're trying to go along with what's supposed to be like in storyline. Yes. If we're gonna stay proper to the manga, well, it can't be five years because they already fucked that up. And if they have the balls to say, "Oh yeah, it's been five years," they're fucked up for that <laughs> because that is that's like, come on. There's already so many plot holes within Dragon Ball that this is just like for them to just do another one and just say, "Who cares?" That's fucked up. Because you're, you're literally like, at that point, that's just disrespectful to the fans. Because it's just like, you're really, you, you really uh, like insulting everybody's intelligence. Because at this point, there's so many there's so many folks out there that have been following the story so vividly and so intricately that that is a really big thing to just kind of like just do and say, who cares? Like, y'all going to watch it anyway type shit. Like, that's yeah, fucked up. Yeah, no, like... And that's that's why I say we kind of have to wait before more accurate assumptions probably come out. Um, just because, yeah. just because, like, they can really pull anything out, and and it all depends on what they're trying to animate next. It's like, are they are they going to animate the Moro arc and whatever this upcoming arc is and shit like that? Because if they are, that's gonna be a lot of time. Like, that's yeah. probably gonna accumulate like a whole fucking year. <laughs> and that's if they don't bullshit around. Well, yo, that's a yeah. That that is that's another mystery in and of itself. Is exactly what the fuck's gonna happen once this movie's done. Like everybody's just waiting at this point. If you ask me, I feel like once that movie comes out, and if they do follow it up with the anime return that's on a weekly schedule, I just feel like they're just gonna continue it from there. I I highly doubt that they're gonna go back. Yeah, to just animate everything that they did from the manga that wasn't animated. Yeah, that's that's what I'm kind of saying. Even though it's a low key depressing because we're we're <laughs> we're missing out on that. Number one, the action. Number two, the evolution of where they're taking Ultra Instinct and even Vegeta's portion of whatever the fuck they call that shit for him. I forget. Uh, like his form of Ultra Instinct or whatever, right? Oh, the oh, Vegeta's ultra ego. Yeah, ultra I, ego. I, I shit. hate that name. Yeah, so like we're we're gonna miss out on that, and that's if they don't re like if they don't animate uh, either arcs or whatever the case may be. But whenever, like, cause we're gonna like if they do skip over it and just continue wherever the movie this movie ends, then I mean, it's up to them and i sincerely doubt there will be any type of fucking backstory because dragon ball never gives us backstory so fucking never yeah, bro so, it's so bad like that I like hate that they honestly don't. that is the only well because backstory takes it takes up a little bit like it takes back if they do it correctly backstory does take up a couple of episodes or it can even take up a, like a season of episodes if they really go deep so yeah. and dragon ball doesn't really have the time for that shit so um there's yeah there, that's debatable it, i listen i'm telling you right now if they truly treated dragon ball with the with the most correct amount of respect that shit would literally have multiple types of animes movies games mangas r running all throughout the year on an annual basis regularly like there would be to a point where there'd be so much media to cons to, to just to just take in that i i could literally do a, a daily podcast it, it would at that point just be a radio show yeah be like oh like what happened today <laughs> or yesterday in the dragon ball verse because here's the thing i look at other shows take my hero academia for example i look at a show like my hero academia my Hero Academia, even though their anime schedule is based on like an annual thing, like they'll come back, they'll do a season and they'll go, they'll give us like maybe 12, 13, sometimes even 25 episodes at a time. They will come, they will do that shit. They'll take a break. They'll come back the following year with the next season. But in the meantime, they have the main manga still going on, but also they have a bunch of side mangas going on. They have the vigilantes. They have the the hero team ups or the whatever they call that shit and then they have the novels and this is all separate types of shit to take in whilst you're waiting for the anime to come back right 
despite if you are a manga reader or not, they're giving motherfuckers reason to start picking up a fucking book and start <laughs> reading this shit because do like because think about it. It's like do you oh I, I should tell you this because I finally did watch the movie um the new one uh in theaters. Well I'll talk about it in a little bit, but um uh I have friends that cracked and they started reading the manga now because they thought the movie was so it was so awesome that they just felt invigorated to just say okay that's it mm -hmm. i have to I, I have to see what's going on now yeah. and they picked that shit up yeah, and, it, and it's literally so easy to do it's not even a big investment it's not even that serious like people probably be like oh and i gotta go to barnes and nobles and fucking amazon no you don't have to buy all of the the, the individual volumes literally the easiest way to do it if you're trying to be on that official support shit with the official translations and everything fucking go to shonenjump.com slash viz okay and you literally subscribe and it's two dollars a month <laughs> and you get all the chapters for everything right there and then it feels like it's free because two dollars a month it does not hurt mm. at all no nope. so that's exactly what they did and because of that because of how good it was and they want to continue to just buy into and feed into how godlike my hero academia is my boy gideon shout out to freaking kid stitch this dude told me he's buying all the volumes now <laughs> just to fucking buy them because that's how much he loves it so the whole point is that i bring it back to dragon ball if they were to do this shit right they could literally have so many different official side johns to keep people interested and actively talking about it whether it was a backstory whether it was a side anime whether it was something because listen and and i'm not i'm sure this is going to piss people off right ever since they stopped doing the dragon ball anime they have continued to do the super dragon ball heroes anime mm. and despite how people feel about it that shit has stayed coming out like at least once a month or every couple months or whatever yeah, and yeah. even though those episodes are shorter look i'm sure if they took that same approach and was like okay we need to really pump out more dragon ball shit because it deserves it and it will profit and it will be like like really dope to to have in the first place it wouldn't even be a waste of time literally like especially if they was to take that opportunity to give us backstories on characters that didn't get that much time because people will watch it and people would buy into that shit like they freaking name dropped yamoshi years ago and still haven't done anything with this motherfucker which is the the, the first apparent super saiyan god from all these legends and years ago whenever they name dropped this dude and haven't used them yet still yeah yeah, I know, I know where you're kind of going with all that shit, to, like, but, I mean, back, like, when I'm talking about more so of backstory, like, like, it would literally be the arc, like, kind of. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, like, like, because what I was kind of explaining with, I guess, like, uh, Vegeta's Ultra Ego or whatever, like, if we don't, if, if nobody, like, this is for the niggas more so or less that don't fucking like read no manga so they don't know what's going on and i only know just because like you tell me his shit and sometimes nick tells me mm -hmm. etc shout out nick <laughs> 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 but yeah um yeah like like literally if they were to quote unquote have backstory if they don't do the moral arc or anything like that or yeah whatever uh this other arc is um like then nobody would know about like ultra ego or whatever like because if they were to do the backstory for ultra ego essentially for Vegeta, then it would it would be the moral arc or yeah whatever arc he got it in like whether it's the moral arc or the one after moral i believe yeah some shit like yeah that. but see that's the thing they don't care about that shit though exactly because they wouldn't this is not the first time that something out of the manga happened and then we saw it in an animated form because for example Vegeta went Super Saiyan God in the manga first. Yeah. He never did it in any anime yeah. <laughs> until... And what was it? The Broly movie, right? 
or was it yeah was it yeah. The, was it the bro i think yeah because he I, I don't think he did it in resurrection he, he never no he didn't he, did, he, he went, did blue he went straight blue um do you see what i mean like they don't give a fuck dude they they and, and that's another ploy that's another way to get people to be more interested in picking up the manga because like that's the way like it, listen i don't like the formula but if it's any formula that's gonna get entice people to just crack and just pick that shit up like dragon ball is the prime way to go about it because they have shit that hasn't even happened in the anime that they will make a movie that follows the events and there's no like so people can't just assume anymore with especially with dragon ball because it's like it's like are you really gonna just wait it out or do you want to see what's actually fucking happening you know right i think now? the only way like dragon ball can actually pure, like do some type of backstory because like me personally i don't want filler <laughs> so like nah, so nah, like nah. the only way i think backstory could work for them is they would have to pick a character that a lot of people like number one and number two they well character obviously has to be interesting and powerful enough or some shit like that and then yeah. and then like depending on if the man came from another planet or some shit like that they then they can go into into and use a backstory for that like like kind of say like how more so how he ended up where he's at or like where he came from and shit like that like what he had to face over at his other planet and this is just kind of like like some fucking bullshit example i guess <laughs> that i just came up mm. with but like yeah no nah, like i'm not gonna count backstory as an actual arc that is happening currently in the manga like that i don't see that as backstory especially for a character like vachita that literally got it within the arc it's not like he he ventured off like by himself somewhere nah. else like that and yeah. and he got it there or something like that that would be actual backstory that could be um converted into episodes and shit like that that would be legit but if it's not like that and the man achieves whatever power level or form um like within an arc facing a villain then i don't see that as backstory that's just either manga or that's gonna be animated um and that's it's gonna, it's gonna be seen so like yeah like as far as like dragon ball with backstories and shit like that like they would kind of have to do almost what i said as like as far as you like like figuring out what type of character whether it's a villain or somebody new that pops up in dragon ball and then then they can go ahead and fucking like give us some type of backstory whether um it's movie form or um whenever they go on break then they they can utilize and drop episodes for that or some shit like that yeah yeah so it doesn't like tamper with where they're where they're moving forward and, and shit like that yeah but i mean speaking of moving forward though there's i have an idea but i'm gonna leave that for next week <laughs> i already wrote it down because we there's there's plenty of topics that that just come up from all these these miniature discussions that we have within these episodes but yeah ultimately to bring it back guys i i i really truly feel like they're afraid they're just afraid to not have vegeta and goku in that limelight when when proceeding with the story of the, oh, the overall story of dragon ball so um with all of that in mind i do want to uh, give a tease um to what to look forward to next week which we'll be we obviously talking about throughout the duration of that episode um, which will actually be our 30th uh oh no that no this is our 30th episode. so this will be the 31st right so <laughs> next week look forward to um this idea on how they can possibly still use Goku and Vegeta post end of Z. So start accumulating your thoughts, put them in the comments and let us know how, and I already, I already know exactly what the fuck they would have to do just to freaking milk these two motherfucking Saiyans <laughs> some more, yeah. because I know that that's what's going to happen, but I, you know, we always have, we always have to wait and see either way. But yeah, that's that's what's gonna be for next week. So aside from that, the only other thing that I wanted to throw out there because we are obviously over the time. I don't want to keep you guys too long. 
um i do have the like i said earlier i do have some of the comments from last the, the week prior and uh just a bunch of you guys were saying like damon mills for like the whole frieza situation like maybe damon mills can come back to voice frieza so like yeah that's definitely something that i totally forgot about um that could definitely be a thing um and oh so fun fun fact um and this is this is actually from the same person that was uh that was that was talking about some of the stuff that we were talking about in the uh, earlier within this episode um that we were going off of those first two paragraphs they brought up how leak and i actually i i also um noticed this myself um but i forgot to bring it up in the podcast but so there's a part so the the, the part in the story where they were showing us all this shit with bardock that i was telling you about when the saiyans came when they went to the planet cereal and they were ravaging that shit and then bardock had that moment where he was chasing after granola's mom and baby granola and then he stopped and he didn't actually kill them because you know he he felt like you know he like he saw gine and his own baby kakarot at the time and he was not trying to do that um but right before that moment happened there's a saiyan that gets shot he gets grazed along his forehead and he gets a whole scar and that character's name is leak right and the funny thing is that dude that same character was actually the same dude that was in the ship that bardock was flying on when they were returning to planet vegeta right before they all fucking died in the uh in the in the broly film that's the same dude so so a little fun fact for those that didn't notice that because i wanted i actually watched that scene again just to make sure because i wanted to see if there was any um hint that from that mission they were immediately flying back home like right after that and it doesn't seem like that at all um so mm. um let's see other than that i'm pretty that's pretty much pretty much everything that was was from the uh the last episode and then finally i just want to put out there that i did see the my hero academia movie the world's heroes world mission or whatever it was called the third one i'm not gonna lie and without spoiling it I will say it was pretty good. Uh, Brandon, you were right. You were pretty spot on with how like they had like a kind of a slowish kind of build mm -hmm. towards like the main shit towards the end. Yeah. But I, I'm going to just put this out there. I still think despite how cool that shit was at the end of the third one. I still think the second one's better, and I still like yo. Because let me tell you, you something. You know the part I'm talking. I was talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And listen, that shit was cool oh, as fuck. Was I was like, oh, it. bro, like, I was, I was hyped. Nigga, I, I was hyped. I thought, I thought I was getting pushed. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like, bro, that that's... shit was sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah, bro. <laughs> that shit was fucking fire yeah nah but listen like here's the thing right i think see think when was the last time you saw the second movie so i i remember why you probably prefer the second one i mean bro yeah no like i i kind of agree with you but like that the the shit i saw in that movie <laughs> man, like but i didn't expect number i didn't expect what i saw that's that's kind of why like I kind of hyped that shit up the way I did a little <laughs> bit because shit, that shit was crazy, man. Listen, listen, listen. Let me just tell you this. Let me just let me just let me just tell you this, okay? I was expecting what was gonna happen. Ultimately, I was waiting for it because yeah, at that yeah. at, at that point in time, I was just like, okay, like what the fuck else is are, are they gonna do? You know, like how are they gonna defeat this guy without that happening? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't I, know exactly what he was about to I, do. I agree with you there because, like, I, I knew something was going to happen. But in the fashion of what happened and how it happened, like, mm -hmm. and, like, yeah. Like, because we didn't even see that in the anime when he pulled it off. And this is low-key kind of spoiling if people actually have watched the anime. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, I mean, it's, it's the action it's more so of the action part um that that is the crazy <laughs> shit right there yeah no nah, nah. i'm not gonna lie that was fire it was fire though yeah no nah, because ha it had me going oh like in my seat yeah like exactly that's 
feel I'm getting yeah, that. Nah, but, but listen, I'm just going to say, despite that dope shit happening, and mind you, I made sure that I rewatched the second movie. Like, I watched it over the weekend to refresh myself on how that shit went, right? And on, I'm not even going to lie. Like, I, I advise you to go watch the second movie again and tell me... Tell, tell me you still think the third one is a little bit better because I'm telling you right now, you're talking about pacing. Oh, no. The second movie's pacing yeah, second is movie. way better. I remember. And the action that happened, ultimately, yeah, that shit was crazy. OD. I, I, that, for, nah, nah, nah. I'm telling you. Go watch that shit and you come back and come back to me and be like, okay, yeah, you were right. Because, yo, when I, yo, I felt... I felt the emotion again when I was watching that shit. Uh -huh. When that's when you know what happened. Yeah. And the fucking <laughs> like, oh my <laughs> god, yo, that shit was so fire. I was sitting, I was laying there in bed watching that shit, and I was like feeling the tears again. I was like, yo, this shit is godlike. Like, like <laughs> I yeah, was man. like, this shit is oh, OD. Shit. That, and and here's the thing, I knew. That they couldn't do that again because if they did it again it would have it would have like le like it would have made it would have took it taken the value away of what happened you know what i'm saying yeah no. so and i knew i knew because i was like yo they're not gonna do this shit again what with todoroki now nah they're not gonna fucking do that shit again like i knew it wasn't gonna happen and that's exactly what happened like it didn't happen you know i was like that shit will forever be like one of it's like so far with every and i'm not even gonna spoil anything from the manga for you right now because i know you don't fucking read the manga either but like literally with everything that's happened in the manga to this very moment brandon i'm telling you there hasn't been a singular thing that has happened in that story that has topped that moment for me personally in all of my hero academia and there is some banger moments i'm not even gonna hold you there's some super fucking cool shit that's happened some dope surprises some revelations realizations all that shit and more and some shit you'll probably not even expect that happens that has yet to happen in the anime and i'm telling you the shit that happened in the second movie is forever goaded and unless they do that shit again later down the line Bro, I'm telling you, there's there's nothing right now that has topped that. Yeah. And this third movie, as for for it for being as good as it was, it was not better than the second. Yeah, nah, I'm that, that's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, I can, I, I'll agree with you because I do slightly remember the pacing of the second movie, and it was definitely more action than the third one. Like the third one was by far it had more build up, I would say. Yeah, but I will I will give them this though. They were blessed. That movie was blessed in, by getting not one but two Asian Kung Fu Generation songs. Okay. <laughs> now for those that don't know, Asian Kung Fu Generation is like the the anime of anime bands. Like they're not an anime band, but they have so many songs that are in anime, like for openings and endings, that like My Hero Academia finally got one. And they didn't get just one. They got two. They got an insert song and they got an ending, which is pretty fire. And I was like, yo, Asian Kung Fu Generation blessed the likes of Naruto multiple times. I'm Boruto. I'm pretty sure got, got one. Bleach fucking erased. Like there's a, a lot of different animes that full Asian Kung Fu Generation has blessed. I'm still and now for finally fucking Bleach, man. Oh yeah, no that. I'm sure, yo. When that shit comes back next year, we're gonna talk about that shit here on this podcast for sure. <laughs> I can't wait for that shit because that's another one that I already know is about to happen. You don't, and <laughs> that shit's about to get animated, and it's about to be. You're about to, dude. Your mind's gonna get fucking blown. What's this fucking a thousand year blood art comp? Oh my god, son. That'd be crazy. Yo, yo. <laughs> about to be oh my. Yeah, lots of stuff to look forward to, guys. Uh, so. Brandon, anything you want to leave with the folks uh, before we sign out here? Uh, not really. Uh, more so, I expect I expected credits after the movie, not gonna cap from my hero. But other than that, not. Oh uh, yeah, no. Nah. I was waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this ain't no Marvel. That, uh, Definitely not no Marvel. Yeah. But all right, guys, let me know all your thoughts. Uh, make sure you guys are liking the video on the YouTube version, of course, and. Uh, if you are listening on Spotify, there should be some like Q and A's or polling. Uh, please go ahead and uh, take the time to answer those, Johns. I would appreciate that. And uh, leave your comments. 
uh in the comments below as always and if you have any other maybe topic ideas or maybe you want to hear our thoughts or speculation or anything on any other anime it doesn't have to be dragon ball it could be on pretty much anything as long as we have some sort of like involvement knowledge passion towards or whatever you can uh hit us up uh full power pod at gmail.com that is full power pod as one word at gmail.com and uh please email us and let us know and we'll be more than happy to talk about whatever you guys got for us in future episodes and uh yeah look forward to that so make sure y'all are taking care of yourselves may the power protect you keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean and stay stay the hell inside i'll see y'all next time you're